I'm Mike from East Coast Additive. We're a 3D print services provider located in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. One of our standard parts that we make is a drill fixture specifically for Kawasaki KZ900 and KZ1000 owners. So one of the problems with KZ900 and 1000s, and anybody who has messed with them for a long time has encountered this, is stripping of the cam cap retaining bolt threads. All right, so here's a typical nasty KZ head. We all have at least an extra one of these laying around. <clears throat> and we know that if you service your bike a lot, or if you run high lift cams, or just due to age, these threaded holes will tend to strip. The fixture aligns where the original cam cap goes. So we have counterboard holes to fit over the dowels. The line in the top indicates where the camshaft bore would be, and it sits right down in place. The other holes have a tight six millimeter fit. So the factory cam bolts can drop in there and be tightened down to help locate this fixture in place. A six millimeter helicoil kit uses a quarter inch drill bit. That's what this is sized for. So I know that some of you out there really like the time cert system, which I think is great. The proper drill size for a time cert is 0.246 inches versus 0.250 at a quarter inch. So only two thousandths radial clearance when you have to use a time cert kit. So this drill fixture will work for both helicoil and time certs. Our drill fixture has a drill bushing on both sides. That helps to keep the drill bit running through nice and perfectly straight, so you can't lead off in an angle. So in this case, where I have the fixture bolted in place, at this point we would take a drill, come down through the drill bushings, and clean out the remaining threads for installation of a kit. So in this case, we have the drill bushings located over one of the non-dowel pinned holes. We can easily rotate this 180 degrees in order to get this hole, if it were the one that were stripped. So again, we would drop the factory bolts in, tighten those down so we could drill this hole. If you have a stripped hole over one of the doweled holes, in that case, the tool flips over. We have a counter bar on this side as well. Remove the dowel pin from the stripped hole. Drop the counter bore over the remaining dowel and put two factory bolts in place where they will locate on a tight six millimeter hole on these corners. So now we have a lockdown in three places and we can drill this hole. Or if it's the opposing hole, we can place the dowel pin here. If this hole is a stripped one, again, locate over the dowel. Drop the factory bolts in, tighten it all down, drill the hole. Whether you're seeing us on YouTube or Facebook, hit that thumbs up like button, hit subscribe or follow, or you can find us on the web at www.eastcoastadditive.com. Follow us for more.